Refrigeration HVAC exam practice questions set number 14. Share knowledge, help people. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Okay, number one. When an ice making machine harvests, what is circulated in the evaporator? A compressor suction gas, B compressor discharge gas, C liquid refrigerant from the condenser, or D none of the above? Correct answer is B compressor discharge gas. Number two. During the harvest cycle of an ice making machine, hot gas refrigerant vapor is circulated from the compressor to the evaporator through a blank circuit. A. Drain. B. Bypass. C. Reverse. Correct answer is B. Bypass. Bypass circuit. In a typical ice making machine during the harvest cycle, refrigerant vapor from the compressor is supplied to the evaporator through a hot gas valve which has a blank metering device, a float valve, B, A, A, B, automatic expansion valve, C, Fix orifice D, none of the above. Correct answer is C, fixed orifice. Number four. During the harvest cycle, the hot gas valve in the bypass circuit blank. A, closes. B, opens. Correct answer is B, opens. Hot gas bypass valve. The normally closed hot gas bypass valve located in the bypass circuit between the compressor and the evaporator opens during the harvest cycle to allow the flow of refrigerant vapor to the evaporator. Number five. During the harvest cycle in an ice making machine, a blank located in the discharge line between the compressor and the condenser prevents the backflow of refrigerant from the condenser to the evaporator. A. Gate valve. B. Globe valve. C. Check valve. Correct answer is C. Check valve. Check valves are also called one-way valves. Number six, during the freeze cycle of a typical ice maker machine, the ice forming mold that is usually placed in close contact with the evaporator is cooled to a temperature blank bit freezing while fresh water is being pumped over to the mold where it turns into ice. A above, B below. Correct answer is B below freezing. Number seven. After ice has formed in the mold, the blank starts and hot gas from the compressor is fed directly to the evaporator to heat up the mold and release the formed ice from it. A. Freeze cycle, B. Frost cycle, or C. Harvest cycle. Correct answer is C. Harvest cycle. Number 8. 
to ensure that sufficient compressor heat is available for the harvest cycle. An ice maker machine is installed with a head pressure control valve to maintain a minimum head pressure when operating during low outdoor temperatures, low ambient conditions. A true, B false. Correct answer is A true. When the head pressure is high, it causes more refrigerant to flow through the fixed orifice in the hot gas valve and into the evaporator. Because the evaporator temperature is colder than the hot gas from the compressor, the refrigerant condenses into liquid. However, if the extra liquid refrigerant reaches the compressor, it will cause the compressor to be slugged with liquid and get damaged. The liquid refrigerant will wash out the oil in the compressor causing high friction in the moving parts and thereby destroying your compressor. Number nine, a harvest pressure regulating valve with a normally closed solenoid will only open during the harvest cycle to allow the flow of refrigerant only when the suction pressure is blank a preset level a above b below correct answer is d below to prevent compressor slugging overheating and overloading and ensure efficiency during harvest cycle. An ice making machine controls the amount of refrigerant from the compressor to the evaporator by monitoring the suction pressure. The harvest pressure regulating valve will only open when the suction pressure is below a predetermined level to allow the flow of refrigerant to the evaporator during the harvest cycle. Number 10. At low ambient conditions and low outdoor temperatures where the head pressure is low, reducing the orifice size of the hot gas valve will result in blank harvest cycles. A long B short, C no effect. Correct answer is A long. Number 11. Self contained ice making machines have smaller refrigerant charges and are less likely to cause compressor slugging. A true, B false. Correct answer is A true. Self-contained ice-making machines have smaller refrigerant charges and have lesser potential to bring liquid into the compressor. Large or large ice-making machines, on the other on the other hand, have large refrigerant charges during the harvest cycle during high outdoor temperatures at high ambient conditions head pressures will be higher causing more refrigerant to flow through the fixed orifice in the hot gas valve and into the cold evaporator now when more refrigerant condenses and eventually reach the compressor the slugging will occur and consequently damage the compressor. Number 12. When soldering the TXB, wrap the valve with a blank cloth to protect the inner components. A. Dry. B. Wet. C. Felt. D. No need to wrap. Correct answer is B. Wet. 
1913, when a cooling tower is located adjacent to a building in Jos, its capacity and performance is reduced. A true, B false. Correct answer is A true. Warm liquid, warm humid air from the building exhaust will reduce the cooling tower capacity, efficiency, and performance. Number 14. Normal pump down will occur when the liquid line solenoid valve is installed backwards or reversed. A true, B false. Correct answer is B false. The effect of liquid line solenoid valve installed backwards or reversed is that the system will not pump down. Number 15. To reduce the secondary refrigerant's pressure drop across the chilled water coil of a chiller, the brine flow must be blank. A. Reduced. B. Increased. Correct answer is A. Reduced. Number 16. The location of a chemical pot feeder in the chilled water system is located in blank. Pump inlet. B. Pump bypass. C. Pump outlet. D. None of the above. Correct answer is C, pump outlet. Number 17, last question. The part of a flow switch that moves when contacted by air or water flow is called a blank. Magnet, shaft, C, reed, or D, paddle. Correct answer is D, paddle. Alright. Hope you learned something from this uh, question set. I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers. Have a good one.